Hey, Force Chris once again, welcome back to another video. Uh, this is another, um, not request, <clears throat> but a horror movie. <clears throat> <clears throat> I wanted to review for a while. It's just a movie I never wanted to talk about because it's under, it's an underrated movie and it deserves more praise, but... A movie that I haven't seen in a long time. And it's a movie called Valentine. It has David Boreanaz, Denise Richards, Mary Shelton, Captain Heigl. But Valentine, I feel like it's a very underrated movie. A lot of people hate it. Which I don't understand. They hate for it. As it, it is a little bit cheesy. But. To me, it's a good movie with a good story, but I gotta say, some of the some of the characters weren't that great. But getting into the film, um, it's directed by Jamie Blanks, and um, it's about this kid at a elementary school at a dance, and he asks people to dance with these girls and dance with them. They all say no except one girl. And he gets humiliated at the dance, and a couple of year, like years later, he basically takes revenge on everybody. Who so we're following the people who are growing up now, and they basically they're basically getting these really disturbing Valentine cards, um, that has death threats on them and stuff, and. The killer basically shows up and stalks him and kills him. Now, like I said, this movie, I really like this. This case is kind of weird, but... I mean, it's got the DVD. It's got... It's one of those old, um... Snapper cases, which... I have nostalgia for. I do want to get the boy for this. <clears throat> but I gotta say it's 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 one of my favorite horror movies from the 2000s. The look of the killer is really cool. He has his Cupid mask, a black coat, black gloves, and a black black pants. And he basically goes around killing people. He kills these girls in very um, brutal ways. He shoots a bunch of arrows at this one girl. Um, and she falls back onto, uh, off of a staircase, and she falls into a trash can. I like that kill. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, uh, one girl who is like a, I guess she was looking for money or something. We're gonna get back something that her, that's hers. And he basically slams her, or pushes her through a shower curtain and the glass breaks. And there's shards of glass right here, and he pushes her neck right onto it, which is a pretty gruesome kill. Um, Denise Richards, who's in this, she basically gets fried to death and in, in, in a uh, hot tub. The uh, drill, and she the blow like fill up the the um the hot tub, which is pretty. It's a pretty, probably the most brutal kill in the movie, and probably the most coolest kill in the movie, too. One guy gets decapitated, you see his head in, like, some kind of pond. Um. I think that's all the kills, I think. Oh, yeah, one guy gets hit in the face with the, with the iron, who's this creepy guy named, um. I forget his name. Gary. He basically gets burnt. With the irony, he basically gets hit to death until his face is mush. Which you don't, you don't really see any gore in this movie that much. It's basically cut away or off screen, which isn't too good. But the the movie makes up for it. It's got some good characters. The girls are good looking. Uh, or they're good looking, but their acting is good in this movie. This girl you cared about, or the main girl. I like Denise Richards in this. She was pretty good. I liked her character. 
um, Catherine Heigl is in this too. She basically is in the opening of the movie. She's like a working in a morgue, and the killer basically attacks her, and he's following her down this hall, which is a creepy scene where he's like, where you, where where the camera zooms in on her and it zooms in on the killer. And she hides in a body bag. Which is a weird place to hide into when you're running away from a killer, but whatever. And he's stabbing each body bag. Pretty intense scene. And he finds her and cuts her throat. Um, and he leaves. So she didn't really get a big role in the movie, but it's cool seeing her. Um, but the twist, I'm going to spoil the twist because it's a spoiler review. So if you haven't seen Valentine's spoilers now, but the killer is basically at all the girls at this Valentine's party, people are dying. Um, and basically what happens is. The killer turns on the lights. Everybody runs out. And then the girl named Dorothy basically walks out of the house. The killer's there. They shoot him. And they take off the mask. And it's the girl, Dorothy. But um, at the very end, you see the one guy, um, the Boreanaz. His nose is bleeding because the killer kills people. After the killer kills people, his nose bleeds through the mask. So he base. So at the ending of the movie, the guy's nose is bleeding as she's cuddling up with um, the main girl. The movie ends, and that was Valentine. And for Valentine's Day, happy Valentine's Day, everybody! By the way, I hope you all are having a great Valentine's Day. I sure as hell am. I've been testing my girlfriend all fucking day, but yeah. Valentine, not a good, not a bad start to a Valentine's Day. I actually might watch this tonight with my mom. She's never seen it, so yeah. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below of Valentine. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you think it's all right? Let me know. Who is your favorite? What is your favorite Valentine's Day? horror movie, or Valentine's Day movie, whatever you guys want to do, comment below, um, uh, what do you think of Valentine, if you've seen it, let me know in the comments below, uh, thanks for watching, take care, happy Valentine's Day to all of you, if you're spending it alone, with a friend, with a girlfriend, with your wife, with your grandpa, grandpa, your family, whatever, let me know, I want to know, thanks for watching, take care, and we'll see you guys in the next one, later.